Hello. Hello, everybody. Actually, I need to adjust something really quickly. Uh, that is my HUD. Um, actually, no, it's fine. Alrighty, let's get going. Hello! Hello, Haneko! Hello, everybody who's here to uh, um, go on the Elemental DC housing tour with me. Uh, I know that we haven't had an Elemental DC housing tour uh, in a while, so uh, I'm sure it's pretty exciting for many of you who are getting your houses featured on the tour today. Hello, Okus! Hello, hello! Um, and I'm really excited to share all these wonderful builds that are done by our players um, over at Fashion Decoration. Um, so, shall we? Let's get started on the tour! Um, let's, let's, let's get started. Also, by the way, I'll be uh, using controller this time to do housing tours um, for hopefully for less janky camera movement and better camera uh, control, so better just, you know, generally and better better for viewing. So, I hope you guys enjoy! Mm, mm, mm. Ah. So the first hour, that, first hour, oh my gosh, I just started and I'm in, I'm in complete shambles. Uh, the first house on the tour is Apple Rin's house at, um, Apple Rin's house in the lavender beds in Kujata on Ward 1, Plot 5. I actually need to... Oh, it's right behind me. It's this one. Hopefully it's a little bit clearer of a viewing experience for everybody. With controller. Yes, this is Apple Rin's welcome. Apple, Momo, and Cha's house. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, let's head on in. Lovely yard. Nice tree. Nice tree with a little swing here. Right on... Right in the lavender beds. Ah, ah, ah. I Pretty lovely front lawn. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Chocobo stables. Nice. Everything is very nicely sectioned off, you know? Um, streams a little bit. I don't know. I'm lagging a tiny bit, so hopefully you guys aren't seeing it. Uh, but let's head on in. Tiny. Ooh. Look at the ceiling! I love that they incorporated a nat this this lovely natural um, this natural housing uh, chandelier into this build. Um, one of the things that really stands out to me is uh, like a lot of people like to do their own custom chandeliers, which is really cool too. But uh, unfortunately, that means it, sh it means that a lot of the housing, like the a lot of the um, the original chandeliers, they aren't really being shown and not really being displayed. So I think that. Um, while it is really nice to have them custom, it is also really cool to see it being incorporated so well, like, um, like how this build does it. Uh, I, I, re I really like having the different kind. Yeah, the crystal chandeliers are so fancy and um, you can see that this house uses a lot of this crystal kind of style. Like this wonderful big wall right here. Oops, excuse me. This wall here with, um... With all the with all the crystals and look at this angel kind of looking over this really uh, really well done this angel kind of using the uh, the Heidelin trophy wings and just looking over the uh, the living area makes it feel kind of like a very regal like it feels very regal to me right sorry the spinning might be a little bit um, sorry my camera control on this is still a little awkward so oops look at this very cute entryway. Right here, um, 
this 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 entryway kind of looking into from this 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 really nice living room feature here. Yes, exactly. There's a little bit. It's very modern, but a little hint of you still get that Final Fantasy feel to it. You know. Um, I think this is really cool. This is a medium, so um, so actually, this part is all built over the stairs, and this. Well, I guess you could. This is kind of like a, I guess, a entertainment area, like an entertainment pit, right? So, um, so you kind of come down and in, and you can just enjoy like the TV here. This is a TV, nice TV screen with a custom chandelier here, and um, uh, using using the the little moss ball lanterns. I can't remember what they're called, but uh, this looks a little TV here. Uh, with a little window looking out. Yes, very cute area. Nicely um, covered up with uh, they covered up the railings of of the lavender beds with um, with all these these walls and partitions here. Very nicely sectioned off. Um, nice use of the space as it keeps it still very like wide and open. And I think it's I just think it's really nice that um, people um, uh, utilize the space over the stairs. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that a lot of people can't make it um, to... <laughs> Hello! Hello, Cam, how are you doing? A lot of, I know a lot of people in Asia can't make this time, so um, hopefully if you're watching the VOD, um, I, 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 I also hope you enjoy. And um, mm. uh, I like this kitchen. And I like how they show off the inside of the fridge here, you know, better close your fridge. Oh no, your your milk is going to spoil. Your, your milk is going to spoil. Ah, yeah, lovely window here. Like, really just continues this whole crystal vibe and even into the, continuing into the kitchen. And I love using the, um, the SE chest as a, as a range hood. Just looks so cute as a country, little cute country range, um, range hood. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Um... Lovely kitchen, a functional, little functional looking fridge right here, um, oven, everything. Yeah, it's super cozy. And um, and the sink here, little 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 uh, preparation area next to the sink. I really like that. And yummy cookies are being made, so I'm probably gonna be stealing some of that, uh, putting that in my mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This nice chandelier here in the kitchen. Very cute, very cute overall. Um, let's go check out the bedrooms. Oh, actually, I want to point out this nook here. Um, I think I really actually like this nook. This little cleaning Namazu, the Namazu servant here. Um, this, this part of the medium house always was a struggle for me because it's always this tiny little nook and it's like right into the stairs. It's really annoying to deal with. But I think this like kind of like... Um, coat closet kind of feel is really, really, really cool, and um, I I like it. I, I like how they incorporated this little nook in. Um, really nice use of the space. Even though it's only using one floor, it feels very spacious, um, and I really like that. Here's the bedroom, like a lovely little view outside the window. Um, whoop, let me spin around. Little little writing desk. This brew. Uh, I probably said that wrong, but anyways, uh, we're not judging my English language skills here. <laughs> Hello, Lucian, how are you doing? Um, and, and, oh, look at this, look at this, uh, look at this bed here. It uses the demon walls as, I believe, the demon walls as a, uh, as a headboard. And I don't really see that often. I don't really see demon walls being used that often anymore. Um, but I think the demon walls are actually a pretty versatile item if you can manage to hide, like, the, the big demon heads in the back. Um, it looks it, it has like this weird kind of texture, so I kind of understand why it's not very popular. But um, I I still think it's it's really good, especially for apartment builds um, to kind of use it as like because since you can't you can't sink things into the ground for apartments. Um, I think apartment builds are pretty cool. Um, uh, they they're they're really good use for a lot of builds like that. Mm -mm. Let's go into the bathroom. There's like this little walk-in closet. I really like how they did the layout here, actually. Uh, the layout here is really interesting because it kind of feels like this one of those really fancy walk-in closets that um, that you get in the rich people's houses. Um, and look at this. Look at this. This little display right here. Ooh, 
the lit up. Oh my god, my character needs to get out of the way. I might have to go into G pose. Uh, G pose. Um, and let's delete my character self. And let's take out this depth of field effect. Uh, uh, uh. So, let's kind of take a look around this little nook area. Woo! This, this little nook area here is really cool. It's a light, it's a lovely dress. I can see why you bought it. Yes, and oh, you mean my dress that I wear? Yes, you did. Hee <laughs> hee, that's how I visited this. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I like it a lot. It's very cute. Um, yeah, this little look area is really, really cute. And I, I love the way that it just kind of looks like one of those things where, oh, you buy, like, there's always, like, this pile of boxes in the corner from all the purses or whatever stuff that you buy. And then, but the boxes are so pretty, you just w don't want to throw them away. Um, and that's true, I could go into first person mode, but I forgot, okay? Lucian, don't call me out. <laughs> uh, 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 um, this slightly lifted area to kind of display the dresses. And all the lighting is really nice in here. Um, I, 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 I really like this corner. Let's go into the... Um, yeah, let's go into first person mode. <laughs> I know, Lucian, I'm just teasing you. Yeah. And... This is, um... No, 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 I'm just... <laughs> I'm not offended, don't worry. Uh, I like this corner, like... This is so romantic as a little bathtub, you know? Look at this little bathtub in this corner, like... And just, like, this whole, like, walled-off area into, um... This little sink, this vanity area. I really like how it's just, like, one nice, like... Uh... One nice big, like... Chunk of, whoa... Chunk of, uh... Marble. It looks very solid, and I think it's. I just. I. I kind of like that. Like, it reminds me of those really fancy houses with like the corner bathtubs or whatever. Um, very romantic, nice uh, bathroom bathing area. Uh, unfortunately, no toilet though. So um, there's always a chocobo stables, I'll say. <laughs> and yes, very luxurious. Very, very, very much so. <laughs> I like it. Also, this 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 little bog orchestrion. It's really cute. I want it, but it's Mog Station, so. <laughs> so, but yes, I really like. I really like this house. Very cute. Great job, Apple Rin. Um, thank you for letting us tour your house. Um, and the next one is Leah Anya in. Leah's Anya's house, also in the lava river beds, Ward 23, uh, plot 6. So let's head on over. Uh. Sorry, camera movement might be a little bit jig. Woo! Uh, let me get out of first person mode first. Uh, let's go to uh, Amethyst Shallows. Hello, Leah! Leah, thank you. We're gonna look at your house next. I'm really excited. Alright. Uh, let's go to specified word. Um, word 23 plus 6. Uh, uh. Sorry, I'm so bad at this controller. I'm just gonna use mouse. I give up. <laughs> I'm giving up. Alrighty, the closest one is, I believe, to this one. Um, is. Da -da 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 -da. Um. Is East Lavender East plus six? Let's go there. Oh, I need to look at the map because I'm terrible with directions. Oh, it's a large house down here. All right, let's go down to the large house. Yeah, like I said, sorry, my camera movement's a little janky because uh, I'm not really used to controller movements. What a cute little yard! Oh my goodness! Um, lovely little 
cherry blossom trees, nice leaves blowing in the wind, uh, pond, and nice nice little sitting area right here in the garden. What a cute little garden. I really like these side entry kind of houses. They're just so satisfying to me. Like look at like the way that there's like this flower garden here. Like I don't know. These side entries just make me so happy. <laughs> Lovely forest interior. All right, let's head on in. This one is really cool. Let's go into first person mode again. Ah, now that Lucian has reminded me that this exists. <laughs> ah, so this one, this house is super cool. Super, super, super cool. Um. This is a um, Nostradamo, Nostromo inspired by 1979 Alien. That's super cool because sci-fi builds. I think sci-fi builds are super difficult. Um, they're, they, they have like a lot of like very cold metal parts oh, that, uh, that, that just look like... Also, the, 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 the sound in the background sounds really spooky. Like, you can hear the, um, the orchestrian choice in here. It's just like bubbling, spooky noises. And, um, damn, I don't, God, I barely remember the first Alien movie. But, jeez, like, this does give, like, the really spooky feel. Oh my god, I walk way too fast. Maybe I should just turn uh, RP walk on to make sure I don't just run off. So here we have the, the, the console, the, the console for spaceships. Uh, look at the ceiling also. Look at the ceiling. I love that they incorporated this, um, the, I think it's the, 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 this rug. It's one of the Garlean Allegan rugs into the ceiling and just gives such an interesting texture to it that, that really gives you like the spooky kind of spaceship vibes, you know? And it's really dark in here. I feel it, it does give you like, one of the things I really like about sci-fi is that, uh, as like spaceships, they always feel kind of claustrophobic to me, and it kind of just you feel alone. You feel like there's nowhere else to go, and um, or like even like any like kind of like kind of science facility kind of feel like you feel alone. You feel like you um, you're stuck. You're trapped here, and it just gives that like, and then like just like the tap 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 of like this. It feels so lonely to me. I don't know. I think it feels pretty lonely. And I think it just really, really accentuates the vibe of this build here. Like, oh, look at this. So atmospheric. Look at this. Look at the lights here, the ceiling. Pan down, pan over. You can kind of see like, um, okay, let me hide my mouse uh, for now behind the my. Yes, no one can hear you scream in space. Exactly, that's that feeling is super scary to me. I don't know. I, I just I that scares me. You know, look at this. Like you're looking out into like the depths of space, and you know what? Like I know a lot of people like to do like a lot of like very starry skies, and I do think that like if you're looking into like um like uh like 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 a very like space, you can definitely see a lot of stars. But also, I think this this kind of quiet like almost starless expanse makes sense for um for, for for the build because you look out and it's lonely there's no twinkle of stars out there to give you hope like it just the darkness the vast expanse of space maybe a few planets spinning outside and it's just i don't know that feels that it's kind of horrifying and, and the sounds of just like just the gurgling of like maybe like the water in the pipes like it's just you and this build and it's so silent yes 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 like ah oh god it just i i i i'm i'm a little spook you know um this is i believe this is the kind of a galley area and i think that um they uh, leah did a really good job making this galley area because it's like just nice and tight like it's it's you know, there's not a lot of spaces on ships, so you can't just have like wide kitchens or anything of the sort like that. You know, like that, that there's no space. Every every all this. Oh no, I jumped into something where I can't get out. Uh oh, maybe sit, and then I can get up. 
oh, and there's like this this letter on the floor, maybe like just left behind, written from someone back at written from someone back on Earth. And I'm just this bed, something to connect like your charger things. I I really like this like sleeping area, the sleeping loft area. There's also a top top bunk too, which is super cool. Oops. Um, like this kind of top bunk storage area here. Lights here to kind of just like, like very, very lonely. And also this is super spooky. Look at this. There's something, there's someone coming in this door. Like, oh God, <laughs> just this hand reaching in. Oh my God, get away from me. There's stuff oozing out from underneath. Man, this, this, this build is pretty horrific. <laughs> In the best of ways. Not that this build is bad horrific. It's horrific in that it's spooky. It's atmospheric. You definitely captured the vibe of like... Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's the android in the 19th century. Uh, ah, dude, it's been so long since I watched the first Alien. Um, all I remember is, uh, is literally the aliens. And I know like the recent series, they also have like a bunch... It's like... Yes. Um, that that kind. Of... Yeah, I I I I think I watched it like a, maybe like a long time ago, but not much memory of it. Mm. It is really spooky though. Like it's coming in, dude. Someone's coming in. Get away from me! And look at this. Um, this little elevator area, or like possibly even the area to get out. Uh, what's it called? The airlock? Ha 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 This is like the airlock area. Like, quick, quick! It's coming in! Beep, 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 you know? Gotta get out, but where do you escape? Who do you escape into the vast expanse of space? Like, there's nothing out there, and all, you, all that'll happen is you'll just die. That's, that's scary. That's super spooky to me. Alright, we pretty much explored this, but ooh, and I also really like like the, the p attention to all these pipes here, like I really like like everything is so like so carefully placed and it just it's so atmospheric. Ooh, jump on the elevator. <gasps> I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Oh my goodness, please. Middle. Is the... <laughs> Do I have to uh, try again? Okay. Uh, I'll try again. Uh, housing. Let's go. I saw the rope sta st stanchions. And uh, they're usually used for like jumping up so oh nope not there again round th round three certainly i will get it right this time i feel like not the middle Ugh. Yeah, true. Third person. Let's try going to third person. Um. At the. <gasps> Here it is! Yay! Thank you! Thank you, Hanako! <gasps> oh my god, it's the alien! Oh my god, even when I was coming here, I didn't even know there's a secret room! Oh my god, this is the command room! That's so cool! Oh my goodness! <gasps> wow! This is so cool, yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The command room! Oops! This is amazing! So is the elevator to the command room. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you can see like there's like a breach and then the, the aliens coming in. Oh my god. This is such an amazing build. And look at the space window. Um, 
um, I think the first time I saw the space window, something like this, was uh, way back when Yanina did it in her, uh, in her, I think it was her Endwalker build. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like using, um, I really like it when people use this as like kind of like a sphery star in the background. I think it's so cool. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Wow. There's no more secrets, is there? I don't have to jump on anything. Mm -mm -mm. This, this build, this layout is so cool. Look at this little landing area here into, into just, look at that, look at that. Oh my god. This is so cool. Wow. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm stuck forever on this ship with the alien. No! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Leah, for Leah for showing such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful creative build. This is really cool. I really enjoyed visiting, and I love the sense of horror. I love, I, I love everything about this house. Really cool, really cool. Uh, let's teleport to. Let's teleport out. Actually, we can teleport out because this is the last one in the lavender beds. So let us go to the mists. Ah, 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 ah. Alrighty, let's uh, also get out of first person. Woo! Whoops. Now, uh, let's go to the residential Ethernet district. Uh, the first one is by Joshua. Uh, excuse me if I say your name wrong, but um, Ali Alio Doi Shilu. Um, in Ward 7, Plot 24, um, in the Mists. So. Ward 7, select. <laughs> heal me, please. Oh, all I do is heal you. Oh my god. <gasps> I... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so bad. I... <laughs> I miss that all that I'm so sorry. Oh my god, Joshua, all I do is heal you. Um... <laughs> oh my goodness, that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, this house is plot 24, so it's really close to... Oh my god, I don't know why it always does this. Um... It, the the closest aetherite is to Miss Southeast. Let's go to Miss Southeast. Ah ah ah. Uh, plant twenty four should be. Uh, uh, lost. Should be I am lost. I'm always lost. No matter, you know, I I always have to kind of visit the houses before, um, and I always manage to still get lost no matter how many times I visit. I'm just really bad at this. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. We're here at the house. Um, made it finally. Cute yard, lovely little yard here with a nice bath. Uh huh. Hydrangeas. Very relaxing little private bath area. It's a nice use of like kind of like these walls here, so like you can't um, people don't peek over. Although I guess if people walk over on top of the stairs, they can still peek at you bathing. But I mean, <laughs> that's their problem for peeking into private property, right? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Lovely little yacht. Let's go in. Ooh, nice little spa lobby area. Place to put your shoes, little lockers to put your shoes in. Very, very nice. Let's follow. Let's let's go ahead on down to the spa. Wow. Let's go into first person now since it'll be easier to look. Oh, look at this place. 
Super traditional Hingen style spa. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like little cookies, nice. Um, I believe they're called Eroris. Um, traditional. Uh, using the new fish. Uh, fish skewers surrounding. Uh huh. Like a nice. I like that they use the ceiling, the 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 glade, the top of the glade thing to kind of be like a trim for the ceiling too. Look at that. Look at how they made the height of the ceiling and that. And also, let's turn around to look at this wonderful outdoor. This nice, wonderful outdoor area, this little garden area in this house. It's super nice. I like it a lot. Um, honestly, super, super, super lovely uh, place. Just think about it. Like you're just out here relaxing with the sound of water and just taking a bath here. Yeah, it's just enjoying the bath, sitting down like, ah, cozy, just... Time for relaxation, you know? Uh, uh, maybe sip some sake. Slurp. <laughs> that's how. That's how. You, that's that's how it is in the onsen. You know, you take you you, you go into the you can go into the spa and then sip on some sake, just enjoying the the, the view, listening to the nice calming music. Mm mm mm. I love this outdoor, outdoor illusion here, this little garden. Ah, 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 very peaceful, very, very comfy. I'll oh, just sit here all day, relax. Man, I want to go to an onsen now in real life. <laughs> or maybe it's because I'm a fish, so I feel right at home in the water, you know? Ah, ah, ah. Little area you can kind of look out. Just watch the koi swim around. Ooh, sorry. Like I said, my camera is still very. Uh, I'm still very bad at uh, controlling my camera sometimes. <laughs> uh, whose crib is this? This is uh, this is Joshua. All I do is heal use crib. Mm -mm -mm. And I do not. Do not listen to how badly I messed up their name at the uh, at the start. <laughs> and of course, make sure you shower before you're heading into the bath. Can't can't just bring all your dirty 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 body into the bath, you know. So make sure you shower. Mm -mm -mm. Don't don't tell Joshua I didn't shower before I got into the bath. <laughs> Hey right, Joshua, thank you for sharing sharing with us this wonderful, wonderful bathhouse that you that you made. It feels it's very nice, relaxing, and comforting. I'm really happy to uh, to have to have visited. So the next one, <laughs> stinky. Oh no. Uh, the next one that we have is by Hanako um, um, Kalasek. Oh my God! Please. Please, please forgive me for for saying your name. Uh, Kai, uh, Kai Alseki. Uh, 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 I I hope I pronounced it right. Please, please don't hate me. <laughs> um, that is also in the mist in Ward Twenty Four, Plot Forty Five. So let's go visit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anna. Time to get out of first person view. Oh my god, I did not get out of first person view. In fact, I continued being in first person view. Ah, uh, 24, I believe, south. Okay, so where is the. Oh my goodness, I am so lost. Every single time I'm in this places, I'm always so lost. I, I'm shabbies. Oh no. Um, let's go to uh, the south docks and let's take a boat over to the right ward. Heading on over. Let's go to ward. 
45. Actually, I think this is the longer way, but you know what? Whatever. Ugh. I'm always taking the struggle struggle route. Um, I believe it's Southeast Subdivision. 45 is... 45 is a large here. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Billy. How are you? Housing. Yeah, this is the housing tour. It's by our beloved Haneko. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. The Lily Pond for Lily FC. Welcome. Welcome to the home of Crimson Lily, English speaking, newbie friendly FC. Come to a mug of ale, warm bath after a hard day of adventuring and raid. Well, sounds like the right FC for me, honestly. <laughs> and some of you might know that I raid a lot and a lot. So, uh, Hanako, uh, does FC recruiting? <laughs> Hello! Hello, Hanako, here you are. Hello! <laughs> All right, very cute yard. <laughs> if I was on Kujata, I definitely, uh, definitely, definitely, I'll be asking them for an invite. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, lovely little yard, nice, very cute. I like, I, I kind of, I really like the way that um you did th this yard. Actually, it's a uh, very, very cute. Uh, uh, uh. Go in. Look at this fancy, 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 fancy FC. Look at the stairs. There's uneven stairs here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this was done by another FC member. Oh, it's Norami's bill. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. This, this, this. I. This new marble, uh, uh, um. Uh, fountain right here. Um. Oh, the yard. <laughs> yes, I see. I see. I see. Norami is really good. Pray return to the walkie. This house is bussin' bussin'. Uh huh. For real? F R F R 100% no cap. For real on God. Uh uh. Uh uh. This, this, uh, this, this, this. I like the ceiling a lot. Very fancy. High class FC, you know? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's, ha it's Hanukkah. <laughs> This kind of looks like Hanukkah, actually. Oh, they already cleared. They cleared DSU. Congratulations! Um, Lily FC Crimson Lily uh, for for clearing DSU. Uh, difficult fight. Look at this nice little... Um, let's go into first person, actually. Let's look at this nice little... Uh, little um, you know, this almost looks like I could be having like... Um, uh, 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 whatchamacallit. <laughs> Hello, Shadow of Midnight. Hello, hello. Um, this almost, I'm saying that this could almost look like you can have like Korean BBQ here or something like, you know, like oh, after raid, like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Let's eat some Korean BBQ together. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sorry, taking a sip of water. No, no, no. These, I'm, I'm doing elemental housing tours. So this was actually made by Hanako. Hanako's actually in chat with us today, uh, watching also, also, I also, I think, um, Hanako is here also at, um, I saw them outside the house, and, um, but yeah, look at this little, this, I, <laughs> I love this little fire pit, it really looks like you can have, like, KBBQ with your, with your, with your FC mates, it really, I love it, alright, let's explore some more, let's go up these stairs here, little reception area, Mm -mm, where you can buy snacks and alcohol and the rest. Alright, let's go up here. I think this is the bath area. Ooh, Korean BBQ is so good. It's perfect to share with everybody. Huh. 
excuse me. Wow! Is this the bath area? Oh my goodness, there's fruits here. Please feed me these grapes. <laughs> Please let me lie down on these couches while you just feed me these grapes or something. Ah, 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 Ooh, wow, look at this. Look at this view. So beautiful. Really, all, it kind of, it kind of, it's nice having the Charlayan music come in because this kind of does remind me of Charlayan right now, right over here, you know? Just this, 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 a Charlayan kind of style bathhouse. Oh, <laughs> Miss Caesar, calm down! <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, I do like some, I do sometimes like to, you know, be, be, be living a luxurious life. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Look at this lovely bath area. Wow. I would love to finish taking taking like after after raid taking a bath here. Ooh. And please don't forget to feed me the grapes. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Hanako is a really good designer. Okay, let's actually let's go into this corner first. Ooh, nice little Nice little green wall here with the uh, uh, the queen's rest item. Um, I guess I'm not allowed to go in the elevator, so elevator off limits. No, no visitors, please. FC members only. <laughs> this little ooh, this little little little. Oh my god! Look at the way that you did the bookcases. It's like a little. Oh my goodness! It's like I love that the the attention to detail here. Um, you carefully like made sure like there was like a little bit of uh, the shelf showing still and um, and uh, Just like it's it's really nice and then you just perfectly layered it so that it's it's a little it's a little reading nook here That's so comfortable with like nice steaming hot coffee or hot chalky or whatever you want mm, What a comfortable way. Ooh, look here's another elevator Wow I, I love that you use the, the the use of trophies in this build too. Like um um I it it does feel like you're coming to an FC house and like look at this look at this little planning board here. It's almost like hey like this is like what we're doing in our FC. Um please please come out like we have FC event on this day, uh raids on this day kind of thing. Um I uh <laughs> yeah, mm, water and hot chalky. Yummy. <laughs> um, and it's almost like, oh, um, don't forget we have raids on this day or this is the FC uh, meeting. Let's please everybody, please show up. Oh, not much to see. Technically, jump up in the elevator. Oh, also, I really like that you used um, you 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 did an up down arrow for the thing. I think it's one of the Riviera items just peeking out, maybe, uh, if I recall. Okay, let me get in. Excuse me. All right, I have to turn off walk. Oh. Ooh. Little the little hidden area. Mm -mm -mm. Nice little 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 hidden nook. Hi, Serene. Hi. Hello. It's nice to have you join us for the housing stream. Yep, and little planting things. I guess these are probably the um the the Favinarian onions. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still very nice, like very nice little duck here. Like almost like you're going onto the balcony of the house. I like that. You know, I just noticed that actually it's kind of like you're going to the balcony of the house here. Like it's like a little porch for your uh, to grow plants and the like. That's super cool, actually. That's a pretty smart idea. I love it. I love it. Mm -mm. Ha, ha. Great job on this FC house. Really enjoyable, and I definitely feel like the FC kind of like vibes here. Like um, I I I like it a lot. Uh, I I love how um, just. Just FC, it feels like. Oh my goodness. Thank you for this wonderful house. Um. Oh, 
Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. How was sushi? I hope you had a good I hope you had good sushi today. We are now going to the goblet. Um so we're going to Oda and the next house is by um uh, Minerva Lime Shaft in Ward 22, Plot 5. Oh. That's okay, I, I would eat my brethren too. <laughs> fish eat other fish, it's no big deal. Uh, 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 uh. So, let me go to residential Ethernet District and let us go to Ward 22. Actually, both of these are in Ward 22, so it's pretty nice. I don't have to change wards between houses. Um. Alrighty. The first that we're going to is um the one on plot five, Goblet West. Um, once again by uh, Minerva Lime Shaft. Um, so Goblet West, let's go. It's I believe it is this large house here. Whoops. Glory Mikote Cafe. Pray return to the waking sands. I, my favorite quote. Pray, pray return to the waking sands. Okay, and they only decorated the interior. So, um, but we can still look around. Regardless. Mm -mm -mm. So let's head on in. Oh, very nice, cozy cafe walls. Nice little wisteria walkway. Ooh, so pretty. I love these wisteria trees. Every single time I see them, you know it's gonna be a good, nice scenic walk. <laughs> Alrighty. Look at this, look at this nice, big, 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 big house. It feels really spacious. And, and look at this, come in, nice kitchen with a, with a maid here to be like, ah, welcome home. Oh, what would you like to eat today? You know, or, or maybe even a, oh, uh, would you like a shower, uh, dinner or, or me? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, but that'd be nice too, regardless. Um, no. <laughs> Let's walk around. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, whatever. Bath, bath, shower, bath, whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever. Shower. I don't. I don't take baths. Okay. I. I like. I like taking showers. So. Nobody has time for baths. I take enough baths in the sh in the in the in the pond. Uh, look at this little nice little outdoor pond area right here. Well, not outdoor, but like a lifted pond area, like a little little lifted green as you go down the the, the stairs here. Going down, going down, and look at this. It's it's a stage. It feels like a. It, this this is definitely one of those feelings of like a really nice um. Like, almost like an FC house entertainment kind of place where, um, uh, you just, you go, and then you, um, it is, it, this, this, you go, and then you have, like, all this stuff for your FC to enjoy, to, like, for FC events. Like, once again, really nice, really nice, just, uh, just, just, just eventing kind of, like, big, big spaces for 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 all your fc members to be able to like, just kind of hang out um i think it's really nice to have like a kind of public hangout area for your fc because i um that's what these houses are for right like these are this is for your fc to hang out in and like especially if your fc is really social i think it's really nice to just have like a home like this to hang out in Woo! sorry my my camera oh my god and look at these this person uses a lot of space in their build, and I think it's really nice. 
once again, um, I'm pretty sure I said this before in my pre previous housing tour streams, but I really like it when people use like also all three, uh, two, like even if you use two and a half or however many floors of the of a large, because I think it's really difficult to fill out a large with the really limited item slots um, that you have. So by filling out this like large nicely and still like being able to use so much space for like, oh, like FC hangout corners, like it, it makes for a really nice layout. And I, and I find that like generally FC members like to have like a large house to kind of just come back to and chill out with everybody. So it's really nice. Ooh, sorry for that really janky camera movement there. Um, and also like kind of going up into like a um, also another kind of like reception area uh, 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 with uh, Ananta. Yeah, it's only 400 per for a large house. So it can be pretty difficult to fill out a large. Especially considering that smalls have 200 slots and they literally have like maybe like 1 16th of the space um, of a large or something like that. Yeah, so it is difficult and this person still managed to do uh, two, two floors of a large, um, which is pretty amazing to me. Um, this one, this is like... The canteen, I guess. The tavern canteen area. Sorry, let me drink some more water. I know, expand our... Please, expand our housing slots, Yoshi P. Uh -uh. Hello, Citrus. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Elemental DC housing tour. Um, yes, it is really cozy. I, like, man... Imagine just coming home, like, you know, this, I, I, we visit two kind of, um, back to back kind of FC styles. And I think it's just really cool seeing the two different kinds, like, of, um, this is like kind of like a really woodsy. The other one was really classy and modern. And I, I really like it. Like all those different kinds of like FC kind of eventing, I guess you could say kind of an eventing kind of house. It's really cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. You just like, um. Like, go, hang out, lay around, and like, a lot of people just come to their FC house so that they can have like a kind of almost a semi-private chat room for like, FC members only. And I think it's really nice to have like a hangout place for your FC, so, um, I really like these kinds of builds. Thank you for- look at- also, look at this, look at this, uh, look at this, uh, this, this little, little, um, fireplace here. Very cute way of making this fireplace. And, and ooh, look at this little window out here, kind of looking out into a sunset with like the fence here. Very cute, very cute. Yeah, FC houses that have FC functions for F for the FC. I I like it. Makes makes people feel happy to be back to come come back to like kind of like a home for the FC to come back to, and it's 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 super nice. Thank you, Minerva Lime Shaft, for having such a wonderful and cozy home. Uh, the next house is also in Ward 22. Uh, it is on Plot 17, and it is for by Reina Valentine. Yeah, it is. It's it's it is very immersive. I like it. Ah, uh, and yeah, let's head over to. To, to the next one um, Yes Well, everyone has different styles Uh-huh So there's sometimes some people like more marble Some people like more woodsy and cozy um, I like all different kinds of styles Personally, I I, I need variety in my life <laughs> Variety is always good To me um, And the next one is um, Goblet for 22 Brimming Heart uh, is the closest Aetherite to there. Um, plot 17. Let's go! Ah. I can't find the exit to this. Oh, it's right next to me. How awkward. Uh, hi, I'm so bad at recognizing. Here we go. Brimming Heart. Yes, yes. Super nice layout. Uh huh. 17, let's see, where is 17? Uh, this way, this way, this way. Uh, it's, uh, 
Oh yeah, this it's this uh it's the sweets house here. Actually, when I saw the sweets house um earlier on, I was like, wow, that's a lot of strawberries on the roof. I kind of want to eat it. I kind of want to eat strawberries now. Oh my god. I think it's the sweets house. Is it the sweets house? Seventeen. Oh my god. Yes, I believe this is the sweets house. Let's check. Yes, it is by Reina Valentine. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been here before, you know? I... I come here... Like, I legit visit before and, uh... Um... I still get lost. No matter how many times, I just... It's... I'm hopeless. Alrighty. Let's go. This sweet house? I just want to eat the whole thing, don't you think? <laughs> mm. Nice, cute yard. Very, very whimsical. A whimsical yard for a whimsical build. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go in. Candyland! Yummy! Okay, by the way, I just want to show you guys something. One of my favorite things about this, uh, this actually, this candy, uh, this candy house is that they have the little cute round windows here. And the windows here are iridescent. Look at that. Look at this, look at this window. Isn't that cute? It reminds me of those hobbit holes. I love it, I love it so much. And this is like, so this is kind of like the little Namazoo's place. It looks like kind of like a Namazoo peddler. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, the iridescent, uh, the iridescent kind of style really is super nice. Super, 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 super nice. Uh, and also, it's an all-year-round alpine skiing cottage with lots of food. And this one, definitely ice cream door handles. Yeah, yummy. I'm going to eat it all up. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go down to the ski cottage. A little fat cat here. Ooh. I actually really like this area. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this Christmas window. Dude, I already feel like it's Christmas already. Look at... Look at this inviting room in here. Doesn't that so cute? It's so inviting. I love it so much. It's like, it really does feel like Christmas, you know, when you're walking outside and like, yeah, when you're walking outside and it's like super cold, you know, the, that's like the, that one Christmas side, uh, like, um, let it snow, I think. The weather, the weather outside is frightful. And the fire is still delightful, you know, something like that, right? I, I'm not, I'm really bad at my Christmas song, so I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> um... But let's go in. No, 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 no karaoke. <laughs> um, what a wonderful, playful house, and it just looks so warm and inviting. It's, it feels like this house would smell like gingerbread, baked goods, and all, and like. Food just all like you just you just just smell the food wafting from outside the house and you just ah, like mm, delicious delicious and then you get invited in and then it's just this this little Namazu greeter here mm, and then you chomp through everything chomp 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 what a lovely and inviting house here. I just feel so comfortable here, right? Like, the way that this house is, lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, definitely, definitely somewhere I want to visit if I'm going in a, to a ski cottage, you know? And it's a year-round, too. Year-round alpine ski cottage. 
that what a nice thing to come to you know sometimes in july the weather is too hot so you don't want you know you just you're so tired of all like the oh it's so hot today oh my god it's sweaty and then you come here and you instantly cool down i feel like you're instantly like oh now i want some like hot chalky peppermint sticks like you know what i'm talking about right like <laughs> i love the way it feels Thank you, thank you, Reina Valentine, for showing such a such a wonderful and comfortable house. Um, yes, very wintry. Love it too. Uh, let's go to the next house. Um, um, this one is in Shirogane, uh, and it's by Uncle Fanzel in Ward One, Plot Seven. Mm -mm -mm. And um, since we actually do not have twenty, um, uh. Vanzel actually told me that um, he forgot to put on the list, but actually the house across from it, I believe, is also decorated by Vanzel. Mm -mm -mm. So we do have time to go visit it today. Yes, the best uncle. Um, let's go to Kukane. Yeah, these teleport fees are going to uh, going to hit me hard. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh. Let's go, let's go. Residential Ethernet District. Um, Ward 1. Uh, Plot 7. Um, is it... Also, let's check before... It... Well, it's this one, but... Well, we'll see which one's the one across from it. <laughs> I believe they... I believe Uncle Vanzel told me that... Um, the small house across the one. Okay, the small house across the one is also by Uncle Vanzel. So we do have time to go visit. And the closest Aetherite to that one is in... Uh, uh, Southeastern Shirogane. Alrighty, let's go! Southeastern Shirogane. Oh yeah! This used to be my old FC plot, so these two are done by Vanzel. So we'll go into the ones that was on the tour first. Mm -hmm. oh. Lovely yard. As always. Ooh, the green roof. I I really like this um, color of this shade of green. I think it's really super pretty. So, uh, oh no, I'm almost out of water. Been talking too much. <laughs> A fish out of water, you could say. <sighs> Sorry, bad joke. Anyways, um, really lovely yard. Really like it. Super cozy. Um, let's head on in. This one is Uncle Vanzel's Baroque style house. And man... It's really pretty. I really love... I believe this tone is Celeste Green. And I really love Celeste Green. You know, um... Also, I'm dressed for the occasion, you could say. <laughs> I don't feel underdressed at all. Um, look at the detail in this house. It's so beautiful. All these gold accents. Look here, like... Whoa! These beautiful gold accents on the walls. Um, Baroque, like... just. This Rococo kind of stuff. Oof. Clipping through, clipping through. Sorry, camera. Sorry, weird camera angle. Um, again, look at this door using the... Um, I think it's like the like the antique vessels or something. Or like I, the antique vessels, I think. I forgot what they're called. Um, as the door handles. And um, I believe these are portrait of guest, Emperor Gestal with the, for um, the nice little door uh, accents. Um, very pretty. And this ceiling just done with um, the bottom of, uh, of uh, the, the, the Irori, uh, um, uh, the, god, I'm, it's losing, the, just, it's the bottom of the Irori, it's like, has this nice, like, golden sheen, and I believe, like, a long time ago, I remember, I think I was talking to Fang about it, and how it was, like, super pretty, and it has a super pretty color, um, so, I, I think it's really nice. Oh, no, I actually crashed, so, um, unfortunately, I'll, uh, I have to start up the stream in a bit. Sorry, sorry. Very, very sorry. I got a direct X error. 
apologies apologies to the viewers give me one second i'm starting back up the stream don't uh no sad unfortunate unlucky well happens sometimes can't be helped ah true 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 always got a direct x error you know just ff things yeah isn't that true oh yeah now you can see all my all my silly echo names Fluffy Echo, Echo Echo, Small Echo. <laughs> uh, those, my my housing alts always have these silly little names. Oh uh, well, that's easy because it's dead of the night for Japan. DC, so let's go back in. No no no, FF. You need to stop doing this to me. Seriously. Ugh, angry. All right, we're going back in, taking a look around Vansel's lovely uh, Baroque style house. Look at this wonderful, um, the way that they look at this. Look at right here. This, 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 this nice, interesting like piano room. A lot, a lot of curtains, a lot of soft like, like fabrics. A lot of, a lot of marble, a lot of gold accents once again, and all these flowers. It feels really romantic. Like, I want, like, <laughs> I feel like a princess sitting around here, like, walking around this wonderful bar Baroque house. Just like, I want, like, a prince to come take my hand, you know, or prince or princess. Either one's fine, by the way. <laughs> uh. Uh, 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 uh. Take my hand. Take me away! And. Look at the look at the accent on the rug using the chocobo tables um to um to uh to 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 flow up. Uh, uh, and this nice little green area, just oh a little sit here and have a little have a little cup of tea, a little cuppa, a cuppa. Is that what they say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I learned. Cuppa. Oh, it's such a it's such a Britishism. Like here, I'm just here having a cuppa. I don't have the TM on this character, unfortunately. But if I did, I would definitely you can I can guarantee it, I'd definitely be sipping tea now. Um. It's such a such a wonderful build, and I like Vansel's build so much because um Vansels go through so many different kinds of like he he likes to go through a lot of different kinds of styles and all these like um a lot of uh experiments with um all sorts of kinds and it's just so good and i think that this baroque style um he put off really well just look at the ceiling like the layers of the ceiling here um the detailing of the roof here um and just even looking up the this like carefully the careful details with the gold accents here um, lining up of this little like even this, this this little chandelier here with the like even had like a thing to hang the chandelier from Yeah, I love his apartment challenge It's it's really nice like honestly. Um, yeah, fans a wonderful build I I and also oh, yeah, I want to point this out. I really like the uh, the mismatching flowers here uh, like the the different kinds of flowers and different vases really um Really lovely, and this red one here, nice pop of color too, of, amongst the amongst all the white, the the celeste green, and the yeah, wonderful build. Thank you so much, uh, Uncle Vanzel, for showing us this wonderful rendition of a Baroque house. Um, let's quickly go over to uh, the other one that um, he did across the street. Um, so. You know, Effie, the duck house. Oh, look at this yard. Super cute. Little, little, little yard. Little, little floral house. Mm. Very fancy. Very, very lovely establishment. Ah, yes. I think it's this one. Oh, this is... Yo, this house is also bussin' bussin', you know? I think this is, is a, this cottage build. Oh, uh-huh. I just... I am a I, 
I love I, I love his cottage build. I saw it on Twitter actually. Um, and also, oh my god, I love cottage builds that use the um, the stained glass window as uh, as for a door. I just love this whole like wood, dark wood, or just wood in general into a stained glass for doors. I think it looks really cool. I I love the kind of almost magical feeling it brings to the build and. Yeah, I find it super cool. Super, super beautiful. God, yes, it does have a very cottage in the woods feel. Like, look at this little, um, um, traditional style, uh, I forgot what they're called, but like, it's like one of those little traditional stoves where it's like super small with a little, little chimney here. It's so cozy. I love it. I love it so much. And I actually also really like this table here. This little open window into the into a forest kind of scene. Um, let's go. Ooh, there's like a little. Oh, look at this bathroom! So cute. Ah, ah. I, um. So, uh, personally, as a designer, I like to do like different types of builds as well. And at one point, I was super into the kind of woodsy cottage, kind of private home feeling, and. Um, I so this 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 vibes I vibe with this a lot, you know. Oh my god. I hear this song and I'm kind of traumatized. <laughs> oh god. Um <laughs> I I love this little cozy bathroom. You know these kinds of um, cottage feels are super ro let me get well, actually let me get into first person. This cottage build is so romantic. Like I love the liberal use of roses here, um, and also I really like small houses. Just have this nook here that just is is really good if you're just doing a single floor build. A little a great way to expand kind of the single floor, no matter how much, um, no matter how like basically little I guess of the house you use, you can still like kind of extend it out. Oh, and I like this. I love it when people do like the roses here. It's, I think it's super cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I also really like this little, this, this, uh, this little open heighted area. Very comfortable cottage. It feels very private and it feels very homey. Once again, uh, Van's little really good. Oh, I also want to point out this little antique sink, um, uh, kind of like concrete block here. I love the antique sinks for many, many types of things. So anyways, yeah, uh... Thank you, thank you, Van thank you, Uncle Vanzel, for show sh showing us this wonderful, lovely build. For well, showing us two lovely builds. Ah, 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 ah. Um, um, we're gonna move on to the next one, also by Hanako, um, and it is in Ward Twenty Three, Plot Nineteen. Let's go. Oh, let me get out of first person. And let's go back to the to the bridge. Why 23? Go to what? 20, 20 23 plot 19. And I believe it's right on the beach. It's one of the mediums right on the beach. Uh. Let's go in a little splash in the water. Wee! Feels good. Feels good. And uh, I believe it's this one. Hmm. Taisho Roman Autumn Chrysanthemum. Welcome, relax, and enjoy your visit. I think this is a uh, Hanako's uh, private house. Nah. Lovely yard, very just. It feels very filled out, you know. Lovely yard, kind of connecting onto this um, float with the floated deck on the fence. Beach, beachfront property, super lovely. Um, uh, striking dummy. Lovely. 
Little, 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 little ninjas and samurais on the lawn. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Well, let's go in! Look at this. Look at this Taisho Roman. So, um, I don't know if you are into the kind of Taisho Roman style, but basically the, the this kind of style is a kind of mix between uh, the East and the West. So a lot of traditional Japanese elements with um, a very Western style of architecture that is kind of what the, the, the defining style of the Taisho Roman architecture. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong and any of my statements, um, but I do believe this is uh, kind of like the general idea what a Taisho Roman style is, if you don't know. Um, so this is really lovely. Uh, this little lovely entryway. Uh, incorporated the, the traditional, um, well not traditional, sorry. That's the wrong word. The, um, the original sh uh, Shirogane housing entryways. Um, I think it's really quite difficult to incorporate it, but um, Hanako did a really good job actually incorporating it into her build. Um, little, little entryway to put your shoes. Very cozy, very, very cozy. And this, this kind of wardrobe here to place your stuff. This disordered wardrobe here. Um, I like the way that she floated it very, very, very carefully so that it per all the stuff doesn't look clipped. Let's head on in. We have this nice little dining room area, or uh, sorry, living room area. Uh, this reminds me of when uh, I was in Kyoto one time and then we walked into, uh, I walked into a small cafe. Um, this is really similar to that feel actually. Uh, it's very kind of... Almost nostalgic for me, even though I, I'm not from Japan. Um, uh, I, I, it, it, it feels very. I love this kind of style. Just like this, this, this mix of East and West, and it's really nice and it really does remind me of those houses in Kyoto. Uh, 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 uh. Um, take a look at here. Um, this little, this little kind of. Um, this, this view looking outdoors. Um, here too. Like just this kind of... One of the things about Japanese houses is that they have like kind of like these corridors. Or I, I find that like Japanese houses tend to have like these kind of... this It's kind of sectioned off into little corridors. Um, and uh, and um, all of like street walkways and I think it's really cool um and it's really nice that Hanako actually managed to um pull it off and because medium houses uh to be honest are a little difficult with uh, layouts because just because of the way that medium houses are used um there's like this long entryway here um and sometimes if you don't do it properly it kind of um it kind of it, it's pretty limiting and um I think Hanako did a really good job with the layout in this house um, This, this is really this this layout's really nice. Look around here. This little study area. Look at this look at this weapon display here. Very very pretty. Ah, ah, ah. And uh, and here, this tiled up with books, Hanukkah stuff, little alchemical things, and it's just. It's very cute, and also the music here is very like, hmm, very characteristic. I like how it feels really cluttered, but like kind of like an organized disarray, like a lovingly placed disarray of items here. And um, I also remember kind of seeing this, uh, just like this kind of organized clutter in also the cafe that I went to in Kyoto. It was. There was like a lot of stuff lying around, sitting around, antiques, paintings, whatever, but it was all like this kind of organized chaos and it was really cool. Mm -mm. Also, this house has a hidden ninja room. It's very cute. Right here. Oops, I'm not supposed to click that. Uh. Oh my goodness, okay, you know what? Here we go! Here, it, here it is! I think it's so cool! When when I found the Hinda Ninja Room, it's super cool. 
Um, I, I thought that was the coolest thing because it's, it's really hidden and it just makes sense, you know? Of course, ninjas would have like super hidden room in the house. You know, the super secret entrance that only only the ninjas can get to. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry. Um, I also, I really like the striking dummy with the bomb boko and the stacked... Um, the stacked... Uh, the paper documents in the bucket. I can't remember what this furnishing item is called right now. Um, yeah, I really like the use of this, and um, the bottom is, I believe, a rollenberry tart, an eaten rollenberry tart, and um, the, there's a knife that usually is kind of an annoying, an annoying thing to hide, but it's really cool that they managed to. Um, I think I think the knife the knife is good here. It makes sense that the knife um, is in here, you know. <laughs> um, super super cool. Um, I like this display of like the kind of like the ninja armoire with the scrolls here, like with the hidden jutsus, you know. Um, yeah, and this little sitting area, this little hidden kind of dojo where just for training, just this kind of this hideaway. Exit is behind the scroll. Ah, that's what this is for. Oh my god! Oh, whoops, I think I exited the wrong way. Whoops. Oh my god! Oh, is that you, Hanako? Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Went the wrong way, whoopsies. <laughs> but that's super cool! You even incorporated an exit into it. That is so cool, Hanako. I, I, I... I, I, I... This house is amazing. I think you did wonderful. Also, this, uh... This big, this big planted tree inside the inside the the, the the painted urn. Love it, love it. Thank you, Hanako, for showing you showing us your lovely private house. Ah ah ah. Next is Imperium. Uh, we're going to Fairy Peach's house in Ward Five Plus Sixty. Mm. Thank you, as always, Hanako. Your 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 houses are really wonderful. Mm -mm. Let's teleport to Imperium. To Ishgar we go. Foundation. Yeah, awesome house. Let's go to the residential Ethernet district. Uh, Ward 5. Mm. Oh my god, so many empty. <laughs> huh. And then... The closest aetherite to that is um, Imperium Southeast Subdivision. Right, let's make our way up to the, the, the large house on top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I love Hanako's houses. So we have arrived at the at this lovely house um, with the beautiful palm trees. I I love this yard. This yard is so nice. Like the palm trees, the the the, the U shaped kind of like gravel entryway. Um, the use of I'm not good with yards, so I always like when I see these kinds of like. Uh, super cool yards. I'm always like, oh, I wish I could do that, <laughs> but I'm so bad at them uh, Let's head on in Yeah, me too. I love the I love the path. So this is um, Fairy Peach's uh, 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 Santorini build um, And was a really popular build and um, it's super lovely Look at, let's just take a moment to kind of pan around. A nice use of the um, nice use of the uh, the the, the Charlayan theme here because I do feel like it's also like very love very nice to have this uh, this the the Charlayan theme playing in this beachy kind of feel. Let's head on in. Look at this floor. This custom tiled floor is so cool to me. I. Oh, there's someone here with me. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, 
Oh, hey, it's, 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 it's Cam. Hey, Cam. I don't know where you went, but, uh, hi, Cam. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're here. Oh my god, you're Lala. Hello, Cam. Does, it looks like you're here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Goodbye. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's go with the kitchen. Let's start from the little kitchen area. I love this floor here. Look at this floor. Nicely sectioned off with the wooden tiles. And then into, the, once again, the, the, the custom, um, the custom floor tiling used, um, using all these steel lockers to just do this custom, custom floor. It's so beautiful. I love the way that Peach decided to you know like we don't have enough tiles in the game i'm gonna make my own uh, mm, mm, mm. look at this nice little kitchen area beautiful 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 and i just love the use of blues and whites and you definitely feel that santorini fill with all the blues and everything uh, and look at this look at this look at this scape here and look at the ceiling it's like a little uh little um glass roof here Yes! The glass roof here, the ships. I just imagine that's like some millionaire's yacht. <laughs> you know how you know how it is. They always gotta go to like the really beautiful, so they always park their yachts in Amalfi or like uh or like that kind of stuff, you know? So uh so yeah. And also like the the, the I forgot what these plants are called, but the dragon palms um are kind of like uh uh like the lots of there's there's like a lot of olive trees like a lot of this kind of like mediterranean weather so it looks like very did such 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 a good job um uh-huh the hot docked over there yeah uh-huh that's such a good job with this window scape here it, it's, it's got a 3d feel too like look at using because like the tops of uh of the the ice partitions are rather thick um it's actually really good use for um for 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 oceans uh, uh, uh it gives you kind of like that 3d feel dude um, kind of look over pan around this 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 ocean view is so beautiful and then you look up and it's like the glass ceiling above the little um just to prevent like the uvs from Yes, it got a really good 3D effect. Cam is dancing on the on the next to the wine glasses, out of control. Um, also, I really like this custom uh, custom what you call it uh, the coffee table. That's what it's called, coffee table. I forgot what they're called. Also, another another locker, another two lockers, and um, two of the ice box ones. Um, and this um, this cute little this cute little. Uh, I know who gave the kid alcohol exactly, Hanako. Mm -mm -mm. Um, the sofa here is super cute with the white, um, white and blue once again. I love blue sofas. Uh, it's really nice. Yes, the Costa wardrobe here. And the, here's the bedroom. So, I, I have such a soft spot for this. I think this is the Starlight Donuts. Um. Mm -mm -mm. The star Alara did is, is the wardrobe from Alara. Uh, I love this. Um, oh, oh, who did who gave it to Alara? Gave you the you know, Alara, she needs to be in control. Yeah, seriously, right? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta scold Alara for giving the kid alcohol. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> ah, um, I, I really like this here. I, I think the I think the wicker basket into like the um the the kind of like this with like a little bit of essentials and everything it's just super cute and I feel like it's super beachy um uh, kind of reminds me of one of those beach resorts with all the little like little like hotel essentials in the in the little basket for you you know and I I love that look um and also just the moth orchids are such a nice like addition to the game I really like the way how the moth orchids spray uh sprays <laughs> um uh the, the way that the flower kind of sprays downwards it's super pretty and i i like it a lot 
a lot of copious amounts of pillows, a custom, uh, custom, um, headboard as well. Uh, lovely little custom headboard. And also, um, this nice custom, uh, like, I like they, that they use the Hingen um, desk to uh, kind of bring more color onto the bed. I think it's really nice. Um, a nice addition to the to the bedspread. And look at this custom wardrobe here, and in this this uh, this little desk here. This really reminds me of going to like uh, definitely like you rent like one of those really nice hotel rooms and um, in. Uh, in, in, in Santorini and then you're like, oh, let me time to relax on the <laughs> You know time to relax look out into the ocean sip some wine, you know, don't get drunk like Cam did um, but <laughs> ah, ah. And the, this nice custom wardrobe here and Just look at the details of this door. Ooh, so pretty this doorway and this this house here god such a beautiful house also i want to point out that um also i want to point out that this new item the the new the newly uh uh newly new furniture whatever i give up on english <laughs> the new furniture this um this uh house it's i forgot what it's called the the, the fireplace the man the Ishgardian, Charlayan fireplace, whatever. It's so good for marble pillars, and I love that there is so many more pillar items in the game now. Hmm. Yes, the new Fort Tomps fireplace. Yes, I wish it was taller too. I wish that you could have just so much more space for um, if. Yes, yes. You can make taller pillars. Although, I guess that if you kind of look at how tall my Viera is, it doesn't feel cramped at all. Like if you, the the height of these um these 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 fireplaces, they're actually quite good for um, for, for like if you want to do kind of like, based off your character, you um the balance of uh, the balance of height is actually perfectly normal for um, for it. it just Final Fantasy housing items tend to be very very big. So, um, and sometimes you just want to build a really, really, really tall build, right? So I totally get it. I totally wish there was more, more like, more items that could be used for taller, taller, taller high ceilings. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just Final Fantasy housing tends to have really big items, so it kind of. So we look at it and maybe like, oh, it's kind of small, but it's actually not at all. It's actually perfectly sized for your character. However, sometimes, you know, the camera movement just makes it look a little smaller. So I totally understand wanting, like, higher ceilings and high larger items. Mm -mm. Thank you, Fairy, for showing us your wonderful build. I love it so much. And um, let's move on to Hanukkah's... Another, another build by Hanukkah. Um, it's in War 23 and Plot 52. So let's go! Also, thank you, Cam, for um, coming to welcome <laughs> welcome us in this lovely house too. Wow! I always get so lost in Imperium, new housing district, and I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. So, like, finding all the finding finding the Aetherites, oh, such a pain! I don't even know where I'm going half the time. But I do believe that it is. Uh, High Morn's Horizon. Yeah, that 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 one is the RPR. Really nice plot. Um, really like it. All right, time to take me to Y twenty three. Yes, I require Squire. I require to go to a different ward. Please take me there. Squire, tend me. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. uh, let's see. Imperia. Uh, northeast is the closest. Is the is the closest one. All right. Let's go.
I know, right? The pumpkin carriages amount would be so cute. Um, I think it's this one. Um, wait, it's 52, so it has to be the subdivision. Oh, to the wrong one. Is it northeast or southeast? Oh my god. It's northeast, but the subdivision. Okay, 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 okay. I am in control. I'm in control. I am definitely in control. Northeast, northeast. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, just always getting lost. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. But you know what? Whatever. I don't care enough uh, about my chat window. So that's gone now. Whoops, chat's gone. I believe it's this large house here. For Extia Tappy Lily Lodge Cozy Highlands Retreat. Let's head on in. Mm -hmm. Lovely cozy ish guardian. Um, ish guardian kind of front yard. Um, I like the I like the Guardian walls because they have like these plants growing in front of them. I think it's really cute. But uh, <laughs> um, I, I I really so like nice campfire. Well, let's head on in. So this is a uh, tavern. And boy, does it feel like a tavern. I really like the way that it looks. Um, visited When I visited earlier, I was like, I was blown away by actually the layout here. Because look at this tavern. Look how big and spacious it is. And it, you can definitely feel like... Okay, first of all, let's start from here. Let's start from the entryway. This entryway here. Nice tavern. Nice large tavern doors. Um... Kind of like a like a build post like uh, where you can see like different like people probably posting adventure calls and like uh, like oh help help wanted kind of things you know you know those things that you see in taverns help wanted please venture slay three goblins um, for a handsome reward three slay three hands three goblins for not three handsome goblins oh my god three goblins for a handsome reward. Uh, um, paid to by the lord of the land, plaguing his, uh, plaguing his farmland, you know, that kind of thing. Yes, it's like a quest posting, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Little, little seating area here. Oh, it's Hanako again, hello Hanako. And the top of this, um, this fireplace used as, a <laughs> not as some goblins will knock out. <laughs> yes, slay three handsome goblins, no ugly ones. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this little sitting area. <laughs> I always get my words mixed up. Oh my god, always an unfortunate mix up of words too. Little sitting area next to the next to the staircase. Um, lovely chatting area where you just all sit around, throw take some logs here, throw it into the fire. Maybe roast like a skewer or two over this nice cozy fire and then um uh like have a chat, you know? Have a chat with your the fellow adventurers. Well, have you heard? Well I'm looking for three handsome goblins. Well I saw some handsome goblins down the road. <laughs> over over yonder, they must be the handsome goblins you're looking for that are plaguing the farmlands. Well, um d not oh this 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 posting might be a little bit uh um too dangerous for me, but for an adventurer like you, it'd be perfect. Please, help. Help the farmers. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know. Um, I love this little area, kind of like a door peeking outside. Uh, and this nice, like, um, waterfall. You can kind of see the door peeking outside. I, I love that. Um, and... Here we go into the rest of the tavern. Obviously, the most important part about the tavern are the drinks. So, <laughs> so of course, you gotta go up here and go, Barkeep! Might I have a pint of your finest ale? 
<laughs> As you can tell, I'm a, I love I love playing 5v, so you know, I'm sure that can I hope that can come off a little bit, you know? <laughs> uh 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 uh. Come off a little bit. Uh uh uh. But give, give me a pint of your finest ale. I require your most delicious of ales. <laughs> oh my god, I keep saying ale. <laughs> Okay, I swear to god, I do not DM like that. I'm not that bad. Uh, maybe I am. But anyways. <laughs> um, pull me, pull me, or, or you know, the kind that's like, I just want to get drunk, so pull me whatever's on tap. And then you come sit over here with a wonderful r roaring fires. So you can drink, so you can drink in coziness after a nice day of venturing. adventuring. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at all this food here. And also, I love the way that um, Hanako used like these uh, fireplaces to kind to continue on this 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 stone wall um, feel to it. And uh, like, check out this check out the ceiling here. Check out the way that Hanako lined the ceiling here. I just I just want to show this off. And also, this using the bed meta to kind of uh, to 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 use as like is kind of like. Um, accents for the ceiling is so smart because you also just like you're using the natural shape of the bed to create an interesting thing and plus you're bed metaing at the same time perfect perfect use of the, the bed meta ah, ah, ah. saving the nice nice way of like both saving slots and also like getting bed, bed metaing the roof mm. look at these window seats they're so cozy and it's all like broken up perfectly by like Look at the way that Hanako did the ceiling here. It's broken up perfectly, and um, I really like this layout because you can also see like the upstairs. It really feels like a tavern, like like it has that tavern feel. You go upstairs to go rest, right? Like let me okay, let me quick let, let me tour this area. Of course, you always gotta have the look. It's the adventurer's knapsack, so cute. Um, of course, you always gotta have the chair next to the fire you know maybe the most seasoned of adventures are sitting here ah there there they are the most wizened of adventurers have you heard they took down the goblin king the most powerful adventurer oh. and then turn around with a fierce look intimidating and then ah oh, you there Come, pour me a pint. You look a little green around the ears. <laughs> the most handsome of goblin kings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, uh. And I also really like this. Um, you know how usually there's always like a like an animal head on the on the on the on the mantelpiece of the fireplace. So using the lion there, the lion head there is really smart, Hanako. I really like it. <laughs> uh. And uh. Look at this, this this nice little reading nook. Of course, some people might be here too. Like, I'm here just to hear, just listen to the to the gossip, and all the all the news on the land. Little little bouquet here, perhaps. Oh, if I if I slay if I slay the orcs, she the princess will take my hand in marriage. <laughs> Dream big, dream big adventure, dream big. You gotta always dream for the the the, the princess, the, the the princess's hand in marriage or something. Isn't that how it usually is? <laughs> well, the princess or the princess hand in marriage. This stage is so great because it's a pole dancing stage, and you already have all the gold in your shower riches. You know, I don't have any dances here, but uh, you gotta have the 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 bar the bar wenches like. Dancing on the on the stage here, and then they're like, "Oh, the girls here are so wonderful!" Shing shing, you know. Um, uh, rosy lass, yes, shake it. Okay, anyway, uh, NSFWRP right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, the slash dance. Oh, that's true, but you just spin it around. <laughs> yes, passive. But wow, I'm not a boomer fish. Anyways, um, lovely stocked tavern bar, and just look at this. Look at the way that this 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 house use Hanako uses the natural stairway of this house to 
naturally put it to make these tavern rooms to give this nice tavern feel to it like you see like you look down this is so rp like look at this you looking down and you see like the people party i would love to see a tavern rp party in this house seriously it would be so cool you can see like a little peek into the room here ah that's so cool and then there's different rooms here and oh peek into the room at the end of peek into the door at the end of the corridor uh, uh, uh. i better not see any nsfw things oh just kidding haha -ha. yeah peek in just kidding haha -ha. i didn't actually peek in <laughs> oops showing the bathroom part but uh yeah if yeah, this kind of really spooky because you got the doll of having the eye peeking out. Do you see this? I, I I didn't notice this on the first time here. I just noticed it. The doll's peeking back at you. You see it right next to my elbow? She's like, What do you want? And then the door slams shut! <gasps> it It was the it was the girl you were looking for this entire time. She was hiding in the room, so you knock on the door again. Please open up, I've been searching for you. <sighs> okay, I don't know where to go with the story, but... <laughs> Let's go peek in that one room that is actually open for the t for tavern guests right now. Look at this room! It's such a cozy room. <gasps> There's another girl here. She's here. And then she's maybe laughing at you. <laughs> I can see that you've been searching for my sister or something like that. I don't know. What a great use of the Kakla ca 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 dolls. Ah. And look at these windows. Oh my goodness. This is this is this build is so immersive. I I love it so much. And god, I just want to do like a D D like a one shot here. <laughs> ah. Like, this is exactly like the kind of D&D &D tavern that I would expect to like start off a campaign in, you know, like... Like, and then you hear a slam, doom, from the upstairs. Okay, have a good one, Terma. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Oh, actually, I don't have my, uh... uh, uh let me turn something on real quick, um... There we go. But yes, thank you for having a, such a wonderful, such a wonderful tavern and immersive tavern build for us, uh, Hanako. This is really cool. Um, thank you, thank you. This is this is really amazing. All right, and finally we go to Ingleside, um, which is also on the um, the subdivision, um, and uh, this is the subdivision. Uh, we were going to go to Ingleside to her apartment build. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go! Apartment 6, apartment 6. Let's go! This is a kind of a, um... This apartment build is super, super, super cute, I think. Um, it is an Ishgardian um, astrologian and machinist room. Um, I, I really like it. Um, apartment builds are really hard to do, in my opinion. So I always like a good apartment, apartment uh, touring apartment builds, actually, because it just shows off how creative you can get with such a limited kind of um, space. Right? Not only are these usually generally pretty small, you, you can't float from below. So a lot of things that you do in traditional housing glitches, kind of um, for, for people who tend to like to do high glitch housing, are usually, um, you're just kind of like out of luck because you cannot do those floats um, with in-game glitches. So I always love to visit apartment builds and people who do these kind of builds who are managed to like who manage to work around with all these like really tight workarounds. It's super cool to me. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, I really love this kitchen here, and I love the way that um, you uh, you did this uh, you did this little kitchen here, like this entryway. It feels very cozy. It does definitely feel like um, 
a you you really get that Ishgardian um, astrologian machinist kind of feel like um, in here. Oh, look at this! Look at this little porch out. This is so smart. Honestly, I think that the new the new uh, slanted uh, wall mounted item it's so good because it really just allows you to have so many more options of flooring in um, in apartment builds because those you don't have to flow from the bottom you can just kind of you because wall mounted items they just have much more versatility so you can you're actually honestly much more versatile in these kinds of um, builds with this new item. And um, I just love the way that Hanako does the this little balcony here. You can kind of peek out as like uh, the little the little observatory kind of feel to this Ish Ishgardian build. Um, I love it so so much, and you do it so well. This this these like illusions, these door illusions here, so good. Um, lining up these, and also the wall trim here, like the wall trim here, lining up like all the all the different things to the walls, and look at the ceiling. It's it's not extremely complicated. It still actually incorporates the natural ceiling into um, into this build, so you can save on slots. But you also do have this like also like yes, I love this new slanted window. Uh huh. It doesn't stand out at all. I love it. And this lofted bed with like like oh like you know you're studying like you're you're a machinist. You you obviously you want to tinker with all these toys, these little inventions and kind of things that. Um, you you do it. Hanako does such good immersive builds. Like I, I love going to Hanako's builds. They're really really great. Um, I can't really make it up. I tried to make it up before onto the uh into this loft bed, and it was really oh I made it. Um, I love this little window nook here, and this little bookshelf here. It's really cozy, and the way that you frame this Ishgardian window is super nice. Like, um. Just with all the books, like the little nook here, and just all the verticality, and just looking down. Hanako is so good at this Ishgardian stuff, honestly. Mm. I love it so much. Um, very immersive, Bill. Thank you, Hanako, for for showing us this wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful build, this apartment build. I'm I'm really glad that I visited. Um, I love it. Yes, there's so much detail. All crum this is a hundred slots. I want to. I want to. I want to remind you guys that apartments have a hundred slots. A hundred slots is very limited, and to be able to use so much space in the apartment, and to be able to just kind of have all this room in here, um, and have like interesting ceilings and all this, all this fancy shenanigans. You really have to know your items well and maximize the usage for every single piece. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and um, we're almost done with the. We have four more houses to go on the tour, and they're all on Tomberry. So let's head over to Tomberry. All of these past houses were on Kujata. Now we can head over to Tomberry. Um, the first uh, two are in the Goblet. It's by Kev's Lux. Um, in Ward Three. Plot uh, 29 and 30, so there's tw they're, uh, twin lots. Um, let's head on over to. to. Ulta. Tomberry is actually this character's home world. <laughs> Let's go! So much mail. Residential Ethernet District, go to specified ward. Let's go to ward 3 and select. And uh, plot 2930. So I believe it's Goblet Southeast. Um, this one's really easy for me to remember because I actually my own home is in the Goblet, so I know where my own home is. You know. Cute, lovely side entry yard. Um, I told you I really like, I really like side entrances. <laughs> ah ah ah. And uh, 
I really... Well, if it wasn't so rainy and dreary, like, we could totally look over into the beautiful canyons underneath. But unfortunately, it's dark and it's rainy. So, uh, we don't want to spend too much time outside. We're gonna head on in. Yeah, the fountain is cute. I love the way that they use the fountain in that. Um, I believe this is an Amaro style build. Um, lovely Amaro style build by Kevs. Um, look at the ceiling first. Sorry, let me spin around. Let me spin around. Uh, uh, uh. Lovely, lovely, lovely ceiling. Um, looking out into the, into the, into the Amaro skies, the city skyline. I love these large, large windows that, um, that you look into the skyline about. Yes, I love Amaro builds. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, the usage of the flame armoise to, uh, to use, to, um, make the trim, the wall trim. Lovely. The piano matching with the with the background music actually. Um, wonderful. Amuro um, builds always have this dark kind of melancholy feeling with the with um a hint of well Amuro is very heavy on art deco and I think that um I I love the kind of bold dark uh statements of art deco. So Amuro has always been like a very nice, like cool like um thing for me. Look at this little window looking out into the cityscape of Amaro here. Um, and oh man, I absolutely love this ashtray. Um, just the curl of smoke. You can almost smell like the, the still burning cigarette or cigar. And it's just like you can kind of smell the tobacco, like the, the slightly mildly sweet scent of it. And um, coming here into the bedroom into another wonderful beautiful um cityscape large window cityscape with um with the desk the plates here um oh. it's just so this emerald is just such a pensive place you know and i feel like quiet this kind of quiet music and these wonderful windows just looking out into like like the skyline is so wonderful like this this um this illusion here with like if you just look at like it like this it really imitates like how Amara looks with the um with the arches and like the 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 lights coming out the window so it's really pretty and i just i i love the way that um um this um kev's captured this feeling this almost melancholy uh, melancholic feeling um, in this and look at this headboard here this headboard here is really interesting very unique and um, I like that they uh, they they add, they use this kind of very special style of uh, headboard um, very eye-catching to to this to um, to this emerald build uh, and once again the really nice ceiling here with the custom chandelier using uh, using the uh, the fruits the fruits platter it's in this little kind of reading nook area it's just it's wonderful right it's so um you sit here and you contemplate you know contemplate quietly and it's kind of like uh mel melancholic right um this you just i don't know like you sit here and you think about oh, sorry give me a second um, you sit here and you think about it, you, uh, and it's just quiet, contemplate about the destruction of your civilization. <laughs> oh no, oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, contemplate the destruction and sadness of the, oh no, oh. the poor, the poor ancients. Oh. So sad. Well, thank you, Kez, for showing us this wonderful, um, one, your wonderful Amaro build. I really enjoy it. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, let's go to the next build, which is right next to this house, um, also by Kez. Um, it is not a bit, it, it's less of a, it's not as sad as this one. Uh, 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 uh. Um, Cute little yard with a little deck here. Um, 
Let's go on in. <laughs> oh, you can't, the tears just don't dry up instantly. Oh my goodness. You, you cry and then you have to you have to dry your tears, you know? Dry your tears. The tears have to dry up first. Jeez. They don't they don't just poof disappear, okay? Well, um anyways, here we are at Kev's um, lovely little cottage right next to it. Of striking difference, a, a different kind of contem uh, contemplation. Um, where I love this little, like, kind of a uh, uh, little outdoor area that you can kind of look in that kind of peeks in, like, growing, grow, growing inward into, like, the house. I think it's uh, super cute, and I, I really like the way that, like, it, it's a very cozy little cottage feel. Mm -mm -mm right here into this little adorable little kitchen this really cottage comey kind of kitchen you that like it's it feels very private i i personally feel like these kinds of bills that tend to use like um this i feel like cottage bills tend to feel very private very personal very like um i i don't know like it's it i'm i'm introverted so um it actually is really nice when uh, you just kind of relax, come back to this kind of place and just hang out by yourself, you know? Mm -mm -mm. So I, I, I really like this kind of build. Um, let's head up into this little area here. Whoops, it's still on run. Um, this little, this little... I like the, I always like the use of Yes, college feels so personal, and I really like it a lot, so much, so much, so. And um, we walk into this 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 little little sleeping nook here, and that's just so cozy. I love small houses and just how cozy they can feel. Very yes, yes, indeed. Like these blue roses in the window, the little the little um curtain pulled to the side, the little nook to place like, you know, belongings and all the little bookshelves here. Oh, so cute, so comfortable, so cozy. I, I, I gen genuinely really, really enjoy, um, uh, this, 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 these kind of cottage builds. Very cute, Kevs. Very lovely. And just look at the little details here, the little, um, the little wooden beam here whoops the little wooden beam here and the little um the the little the little hanging chandelier uh um ceiling accent also matching across here too the little um the mahogany aqueduct um pattern yes very cozy house i can almost smell like just comfortable um comf comfortable cooking here oh my god this thing just keeps saying um that it's low battery serves me right that i didn't uh that i didn't charge my phone and i didn't plug my phone in well um let me thank you thank you uh yeah Lovely house, Kevs. Thank you for showing us this really wonderful, beautiful, peaceful cottage of yours. I really appreciate it. And it feels like I'm coming back home. <laughs> Love it so much. Um, the next one is in... Um, actually, let me go to the one in Imperium first. Because that's a little bit closer, I think. Um... So let me go to the one in Imperium first, and then we'll work up the Shirogane. Oh my god, I'm my money is flying out of my uh, out of my wallet. My gill is flying out of my wallet. Um, with uh oh wait, I went to Idol Shark. Ah! Whoops. Let's. We're going to Foundation, not Idol Shark. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're gonna head to um, we're gonna head to um, Kai Marax's house, um, War Twenty Three, Plot Thirty Eight first. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. Yep. 
it was War 23 Plot 30. Okay. Hi, Hexen! How are you? Hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, we are going to... The closest one is... Um, Kai... It's good, it's good. How is yours? I'm doing a housing tour for um, Elemental DC. Um, it is in Imperium Northwest Subdivision. So let's go to that. How's your day, Hexen? So... Lost again. Plot 38 is literally right in front of my face. And I'm still lost, you know. But... Woo! Oh, good morning! This is, uh... This is Kai Marax's build, I believe. Yes, Land of the Rocks. Latte on the rocks, not land on the rocks. Oh my god. <laughs> land on the rocks. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm so stupid. Anyways. Um, good morning. Um, oh, here it is. Let's enter the estate car. Well, here we are. This is a this is a nice, nice little. Um, I like I really like this area. So this is a medium. They built this above the stairs. Yes, it is very posh. It is it is very very posh indeed. I like the little deck area. You know, kind of sitting here. Relax. It's like kind of like a twilight evening. Mm, mm, mm. Twilight skies. Twilight evening. Here, you just saw the sit, sit here. You kind of like look out to your your yard. So it's really cool. I really like that. Hello, Hika. Hello. Um. Yeah, I really, I really like just like having this little area where you can just kind of look out into into your yard, like. This, this illusion of outdoors once again. Very cozy, very nice. I just love, um... I love, I love... And look at, check out, okay, so check out this door. This, this new item. The, 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 um... The logs, the fireplace logs. Um... Yeah, me too, me too. I, I love it. I, I, I genuinely love it. And I think, um... Actually... I think I actually started crying again. Stop crying. And no, I'm not tired. <laughs> well, um, I love this. I love this door. You know, this new log uh, furnishing item. I love that it has so many intricate, like, wrought iron kind of styles that you can do so much with it. You can use it to make, like, a balcony. You can... Balcony uh, fence. You can use it to make like fancy like wrought iron stuff in your door um, in your doorways, like Kai did. Um, you can use it to uh, create like uh, a fireplace grate. Either way, it's just such a verse. It's also another very versatile item. Square Enix really has been spoiling us with these last few patches and um, and furnishings, just because of how versatile everything is now. Um. Like you think about a dance floor, house four tops with the um, the the fireplace, um, the the logs, all of it, so cool. Yes, please keep spoiling us, uh, Yoshi P. Give us more of these items that we can do really cool things with. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. So I really like this kind of you go in and immediately you can grab a drink. How nice is that? You come home, or you come to this cafe. And immediately coming in, you're like, wow, time to pick out some of my favorite alcohols. Yes, exactly. The lockers has also been very versatile. 
they can be used as uh, pillars as well. So that's definitely another really cool item that you can like. All like oh, so many of the new items. Oh, and then the new tree stump. Um, the new tree stump item. Not only can you use it as stepping stones um, or stepping logs or whatever. Um, um, you can use it for like tree, uh, tree, tree uh, trunks. You can use it for like you know you know those hopping things across, um, across like the rivers and stuff. Uh, you can. There's probably gonna be tons and tons and tons of more uses for them. Uh, maybe even like some some sort of way to like um make a lighting like for lighting um i think it'll be really cool it's just a very versatile item and also square enix really 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 so spoiled so much spoiling um and these iron chairs i've been waiting for them for so long because before then there's only the halloween chairs and they look definitely halloween and I just really wish that they, we had these kind of cute little outdoor chairs that we could use. And now finally, Yoshi P has granted our wish. I'm very happy for that. And uh, we got this lovely cafe here. Kind of order some food. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a can I have a latte on the rocks? I believe that this uh, I believe that this establishment is called Latte on the Rocks. So can I please have one of your namesakes, please? Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Yoshi P. <laughs> oh my god, Yura! Thank you for the rain. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> hello, hello. We're doing a housing tour for the elemental DC. Um, yes. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Hello, hello. Uh, Elemental DC housing tour where we explore wonderful houses made by beautiful, wonderful designers in the Elemental DC. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and we're just—I was just talking, I was just RPing a little, uh, <laughs> a little, uh, uh, a little interaction between the bartender and I because you know, uh, it's like, hello, sir, can I have a latte on the rocks? <laughs> Man, I'll, if I order a latte in the rocks, it feels like I'm ordering an alcoholic drink. I'm not sure if I should be drinking while I'm doing a housing tour. Is that is that okay? Does that count as drinking on a job? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I'm not drunk, by the way. This is just a blush. I'm not. I'm not drunk. Sip. <laughs> uh part of the job description. Which, yeah, just a little bit. You know, you know, it's like when business people they drink, right? It's part of the job. It's not. It's it's definitely not part. Um, it's 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 you you should be getting drunk. Ah, oh, closer to the clients. Exactly, Lieutenant Karu. Ah ah ah. It's it's about getting closer to your clients. And um, because I'm touring these houses, it's part of the job to get me drunk a little bit because I can um. I'm enjoying the ambiance of this cafe, this latte on the rocks. Ah, social drinking, indeed, indeed. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Man, thank you, thank you, Yura, for the rain. Um, and um, yeah, sampling the wares, just having a taste test. It's like you know, you gotta go, you gotta, you gotta introduce like, oh, this, this, it's actually delicious. I barely can taste the alcohol, just a little hint of the mouth. No, 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 this blush, this blush. Don't mind it, don't mind it. I'm not drunk. Just it was only a tiny little bit of alcohol. <laughs> no, Lord Josiah. No, 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 no. Um, honestly, Kai Kai Marax has created such a wonderful like. Do you as we're here, you can hear like all the different like 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 uh. I actually really like this theme. The Amarang uh theme, Sands of Amber, is so good, and I feel that um. <laughs> I feel that it's actually really fitting for this kind of like adult more I feel like this bar it's it's a little it feels like, also thank you for the follow um it's a little bit more um it feels yes it, it just it's it's it feels very adult to me this dark color these dark tones like um it feels like somewhere you would go for a late night maybe like late night like you know those like really also I guess the melancholy it always comes back to the melancholy kind of feel where it's like you come late night and then it's like you look out the window and then you drink the coffee and then it's like ooh <laughs> okay okay I'm joking oh my god <clears throat> um also we're speaking of 
Yes, dark wood is definitely a boot. Speaking of the the lockers being one of the business bestest slots, actually I believe this fridge here is uh is is used um is made by two two of the new steel locker items here. Um and um see it's just so versatile. This this item is super versatile and here is the here's the espresso machine. What a fancy espresso machine made by the Gordian chair um here. Uh Really cool use. I think it's two different Gordian chairs because I think you can only have one in each one. But um, yeah, look at all this alcohol and coffee here. Mm, mm, like I said, maybe I should order another latte on the rocks. Don't please don't tell my please don't tell my boss that I'm drinking another one. Okay? <laughs> please please don't tell my boss I'm drinking another one. <sighs> mm. Look at this nice little sitting area with the uh, with the windows here. Um, I think another one of uh, and this on top. It's I think I believe it's using the uh, the new wooden flower um, uh, 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 the wooden flower vase furnishing item. Also, I just want to point out that a lot of these builds that I've been going to have been using a lot of uh, the new lighted wooden lofts, and boy are these so good because. They're, they kind of stick out a little bit, just a tiny little bit from under the wooden loss. And I think that is so useful because... Oh, thank you for the follow, Dokuryo. Um, I think it's just so useful because we have been waiting so, so long for these recessed kind of lighting options. And this wooden loft just gave it to us. Like, you, and not only that, you don't have to show the wooden loft because it peeks out slightly from underneath. It actually, you can have perfectly have the outline, like just like this house does. Um, you can perfectly have the outline of the lights here on this house. And, um, it makes it it makes us build like it makes building these modern kind of builds so much easier because thank you claymore lord one for the follow um and um it makes building these modern styles so much easier without having to use basically two slots for every single light um it used to be that you use snowman bots and maybe like a vase for the for the recessed kind of a lighting look but now you can you can actually have this four lights per loft i believe that's how many lights are on each loft and yes exactly these having the lights still work while hidden behind items and not having like the light source be super far back i feel like yoshi p has recently seriously been spoiling us so much because yoshi p is like you know housing designers you have been so good like making these creative housing let me spoil you with house with with items that you don't have to use 20 million slots for because I will not expanding the ha the amount of slots per furnishing. So I'm just going to give you larger items with what you need. You know what? I'm not going to complain too much. Give us more slots, Yoshi P. But you know what? In the end, you gave us these large items that are actual slot savers for the rest of us. So I really appreciate it. Um, so I thank you, Yoshi P. and Square Enix team for giving us, <laughs> for giving us these options. These, these these new lighting options. Mm -mm -mm. The sitting area is really nice, and I love the way that it looks like you're you're looking out like a a, a windowed wall, like f floor to ceiling length windowed wall. Um, and Chimerax did a really good job with um, kind of like just the different layers here. Let me kind of pan around the ceiling for you. There's different like different heights of. Um, the ceilings here to make the keep it vis visually very interesting and the slight arch to um, thing right here very visually appealing um Chimerax, thank you for letting us visit your wonderful little cafe uh this adult cafe i definitely did not drink two lattes on the rocks but you know what uh yeah haha -ha, time to go <laughs> Thank you, but really, 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 thank you for showing us um, this wonderful cafe here. Um, the last one that we're going to be visiting is, um, is Shirogane by Camillas and Walker. Um, it is War 15 Plot 58. Ah. So let's head to, whoops, let's head to Shirogane. So let's teleport to... Shirogane! Let's go! Here we are. Yeah. 
uh, residential Ethernet district. Go to specified board. Uh, ah, 15. Select and let's go in. No longer. It's I'm sobering up, guys. So no, no, no. I'm sobering up. <clears throat> um, I believe the closest um aetherite to this one is um Eastern Shirogane subdivision. So let's go there. And um, it is plot 38, so I will... 38? No, it's 58. Okay, it is the medium house. <sighs> Still always lost. This one is by Camillus. Mm -mm -mm. Whoopsies. Camillus is sort of like a... I always think Camillus is kind of like a patron to uh, to housing and it's really nice seeing them... seeing seeing Camillus also build build houses. Uh, nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Gardens are hard. I don't like doing outdoor builds either. So I completely understand, you know? Ah. Yes. Camillus is a uh, patron sink for housing. <laughs> Oh no, like like in the Renaissance, you know, they have patrons, the painters of the patrons. They like they're like, oh Leonardo, please paint me this wonderful paint me this image or something, you know? Let I will pay you twenty million uh, gold pieces for my for a painting of I am I am making numbers up and I am I don't I don't remember what the Italian old coin is called, but you know what? Um, gold pieces it is. <laughs> I will pay you 20 million gold pieces, Leonardo, if you paint a picture, por pay my portrait. Uh-huh. That's, that's Camillus. Mm -mm -mm. Camillus is like that. Except it's more like, ah, housing designer, I will pay you millions of gil for you to, to decorate my house with the beauty of your works. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Is that not true, Camillus? Uh. So, I want to I want to point out this entryway. This entryway is so pretty. I love the way that you used it to kind of be the uh huh to 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 be the garden. Like you use the natural. Like I said, I think that shirogane entryways are really hard to work around because the wood is purple, so it not doesn't work for every single build that you do. However, I think that and also this like front entry kind of stone kind of thing is really sometimes can be a pain to work around. And genuinely, I do think that Camillus did a really 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 good job um, by using that just kind of like a garden stepping area to um. Uh, garden stepping area into 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 the actual house here. So there's like kind of like this outdoor well, coming indoors here, and I think it's really cool. This outdoor illusion, um, really nice. And the sky here, and then you kind of enter over right here, right? Um, this is so this is still kind of like the entryway outdoors. Yeah, it's so cozy. Lieutenant Karu, um, I agree. And you uh -huh, you enter here. And you see, um, the new item. Oh my god, spinning the camera is so difficult. The new item here, right, right, like, um, that Camillus is using as seats, is so versatile. You can have, like, like these kind of, like, very cute little different style of cushions here, um, where, uh, it's not just the cushions that are in the game, the, the Zabutons that are already in the game. You can make your own custom kind, like smaller, larger, medium sized. Now, there's so many more options with like all these new items that it's really great. Um, I really like this, uh, the way that you did the floor here too. Like the floor here into this kind of tatami area and like the slightly raised um, wooden thing here. So it, like there's like variance in the ground levels. Knowing me, if I were to walk on this in real life, I'd trip over and fall flat on my face. However, it looks great. <laughs> so, 
Camillus, if I ever, if, um, you know, if I get, if I get teleported ever into the game, you're gonna have to hold my hand and tell me that, uh, there's, there's, there's a little height difference in the floor. <laughs> because you, because I will definitely trip. Um, I love this little outdoor area. Uh, please, please, please. Oh, and I like the way that you use the, um, Four times fireplace. It's like I think it's a very um, unique way of doing it. You're using it as a as the house next door. Um, at least that's what I think it is. It's it's like kind of like a you can kind of see into the house next door kind of view, and I think that's really cool. Um, that's that's a really creative way of using it. And like I think I see a little bit of summer. Yeah, like a temple house next door building kind of thing. Yeah, it's really cool. Like I that's that's really big brain of you, Camillus. I, I love it. Um in, in just kind of this little garden area section off with um the new uh window blinds, which is also another very versatile item I'd like to add. Um the window blinds, it's um super super cool. Um super versatile, can use it for like fences, the backings, um, um, wall, wall ornaments, um, all of that, etc. Um, really cool. And look at this beautiful, beautiful outdoor scenery. This diorama of, um, of like this, 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 um, kind of a mountain lake kind of look. I feel like a mountain lake filled with like wildlife and. Waterfall, what a beautiful view um, that you can kind of, when you sit here and drink tea and you can look out into this beautiful, lovely view of like this, just this mountain lake, or perhaps it's even the ocean, kind of looking out into the ocean with like the, um, I do believe it's the, the treasure, the pirate booty treasure thing that's giving off the light that's hidden behind it. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's really wonderful and it's really, really beautiful. I, you did a great job with this, this illusion here. Let's move over to this side. Um, this is really interesting because I like the, I like the difference in the floors here and just, oh, look at this, look at this kind of half outdoor bath and the lighting here. It's so moody. I, I really like it. This almost makes me feel like almost a little bit of a tropical feel to it. Um, this outdoor kind of shower with a lot of like, ooh, look, it's like I'm washing my hair. <laughs> um, um, this outdoor kind of illusion, like, um, once again here, and this kind of outdoor shower, um, natural shower, yeah, it is. It's, it, it, it's really, really cool. Um, and in here, we go up the steps. Um, look at the way that um, Camilla's... Uh, lined these steps with the uh, with the rectangular partitions um i believe this is built over the the um, the stairs too really 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 like um painful and i okay so let me tell you i love this um this 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 sauna this sauna is so good this looks like the saunas that like, yeah, I like Camillus. I don't know why you were so hesitant to put this house on the tour because I honestly, genuinely love this 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 sauna so much. I think it's actually so big brain. Like the the stones here with the little water coming out to turn it into steam, and like this like. Here, like the hot bench with like the steam fizzing out. That is so big brain. Doesn't this just this like? Have you guys been to saunas before? Have you guys have been to saunas before? This looks exactly like what I want to go to. I can smell the cedar, like just like the steamy cedar, right? Like, yeah, this is like peak relaxation. Like I just, like, like I feel like ending here is like like I am coming home. You know, I I'm, I'm coming home to this little, to this house. I'm coming home to relax. Or like, or even just, or to a spa to relax. Just to, just to chill in the sauna and just like, like sweat my worries away. Sweat the soreness in my body away. Sweat everything away. Just like, let everything go. And 
I I love this sauna so much. Actually, I'm gonna go into first person view really quickly because y'all have to look. Y'all have to look at how wonderful this sauna, this, how immersive this sauna is. Look at how Camillus like broke up the lines of the the sauna here, like the slats here. Like, look at that. That is a lot of detail, and all this wood here. The, the, once again, the blinds, I told you, the blinds is really another one of those best in slot items that, um, that Yoshi P has introduced to us. And, like, just the whole, like, the slight, like, gaps in the floor to let, like, the steam come and rise out of it. And all the steam coming out. God, it is such a wonderful build. Thank you so much, Camillus, for, um for sure showing us this place because like i said i don't understand why you would feel like shy about showing us this beautiful build i think it's so creative and i love it i love it so much um it's it's truly a wonderful build and i i'm, I'm so happy that you decided to <laughs> i i'm really happy that you decided to uh to 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 to, to, to end up submitting your house today mm -mm -mm. And, uh, well, that concludes the tour, um, for today, for the housing tour for today. Um, I, uh, we have no more houses on the list. Um, I know, Cam, you should show more of your houses. Um, next time submit more, okay? <laughs> please, please, please. Um, for those who recently joined us from the raid, um, I do housing tours about once, about once every month, once every two months, just about. Um, I show a Final Fantasy fourteen housing. I do housing myself as well, um, and uh, I I love so I love touring houses. So if you guys are into, if you guys have a house in Final Fantasy fourteen, um, I do housing tours for fashion decoration, and um, eventually. Thank you for the follow, Lieutenant Karu. Thank you. Um, I also do. Um, I'm also thinking of actually having like a uh, um, housing tour, a JPDC housing tour for JP designers. Uh, well, not for JP designers, um, from JP designers for the English speaking community because um, a lot of people do not play on the elemental DC. <laughs> Thank you, Camillas, for the follow. Um, a lot of a lot of English speaking people don't actually play on elemental DC. Okay, let me let me let's let's look at a nice little view. So while I while I do my closing, um, thing, a lot of people don't play on JPDC, so they are unable to or have a character that they can look at houses on the JPDC with. So um, I really like doing these housing tours because I like to show everybody oh how wonderful all these like beautiful houses are and um. And uh, I just want to show off all these wonderful, cool builds. So I'm thinking of also doing like a, like a eventually doing kind of a Japanese Japanese designer housing tour that don't actually because fashion decoration is a English speaking Discord as an English speaking housing community. So um, I'd like to be able to see all the different kinds of um, houses that everybody does. So I'll probably um, try to try set one up. Um, soonish um but yeah i also do primal housing tours and um we'll see in the future if they'll be opening up any more housing tours because i actually don't have a character on the other um uh, worlds i actually boosted this character for specifically jp so anything um um hopefully we'll be able to uh tour a lot more houses um with the opening up of dc travel as well um but yeah i really um I do these housing tours every so often, every um, about every, once every month, um, because I give I let people. Yes, yes, please, please, um, yeah, um, and uh, I I just love housing is one of my is is my basically my house Final Fantasy fourteen housing is is what I do for content so um for the most part, um so, um really hope that i'll see you all again soon um i will probably be streaming my race tonight but that's a kind of different kind of content so for the housing tours um for those who are here for the housing tour this will be concluding the elemental dc housing tour for fashion decoration 
thank you so much for coming out and thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate it um and thank you to all the beautiful wonderful designers who submitted your lovely houses i loved touring them and i had a great time touring all of it um as for myself i'm gonna take a little break before um coming back in about two hours um for raids tonight i have i'm doing dsu i will be do i'll be progging dragon song um once again uh final fantasy is my main game so i will probably you will see me mostly streaming on and off that but i do not tweet my uh i don't really tweet out by rating streams because they're not very uh they i whoever shows up shows up right <laughs> that kind of thing that's what i think when it comes to final fantasy rating um but yes uh i really appreciate for all the raids and all the people who came out to see housing um Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, I hope everyone has a good one. Um, before I end the stream, I'd like to pass my viewers on to someone who is streaming right now. Let's see who is streaming. Um, let's, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pull up my... Um, pull up my Twitch. Oh my god. My voice is kind of shot after talking for so long. I actually had a, um, I actually had a D&D &D campaign earlier today, so I'm like, oh god. My voice, my voice is gone. I've been talking all day. It's, I'm so exhausted. Um, let's read you, one of my siblings, or soon-to-be siblings, Yura. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, so those who came out, thank you so much. And thank you for the follows, everyone. Yeah, for sure. Have a good one. Let me let me start the read. Um, here we go. Um, hey, ready? Once again, thank you so much for coming out to the Elemental DC Housing Tour. Thank you, thank you, bye-bye.